Welcome, welcome everyone. I am simultaneously going live on Facebook as well. So there we go. Hi Facebook, we have you on as well. Um, I just want to let you know and apologize uh, because I'm going to be doing both. I'm going to go back and forth to both just because um, I get worried sometimes that one is not going to record. So that will hopefully we'll have both going. Um, this new Facebook way of doing it makes me, there we go. <laughs> Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for joining on. Yay! Oh, Amber! Hi, girl! Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to be celebrating this Pisces. Oh, what's up, Becky? I'm so excited to be celebrating. Yeah, hi, Cam. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to be celebrating this Pisces new moon with you. <laughs> I know, Facebook is a whole thing. Hi, guys, joining on Facebook. Um, thanks for joining. Um, yay. So we're going to talk about this Pisces new moon. I am a Pisces. So it was so funny. I was really feeling the call yesterday. I needed to rest. I needed to prioritize just, you know, my clients and calls that I had. And so I didn't get to set up the workshop I was intending to do. And then this morning when I was tuning into this moon, I was like, I can't not do a workshop. <laughs> So thank you, Instagram Live. Thank you, Facebook Live, for providing that opportunity to still get to have all of you guys do this workshop with me. So a little overview of what we'll be doing right now is we'll be talking about what? <laughs> it's a full moon. It's a full moon, Pisces full moon. Um, we're going to be talking a little bit about the energy of this Pisces full moon. It's really setting the stage for uh, September. So I really believe it also goes into kind of like the energy we're going to be work, working through this whole month. This kind of full moon is like blasting us with that. Um, I pulled a couple cards which turned out to be pretty on point and pretty wild that I'll be sharing with you as well. And I'm going to lead you through a meditation to tap into the energy of this full moon and some of the topics that have come up. So let's dive in. And then because we're live, I'll even leave some space at the end. If any of you guys have questions or you want to, you know, ask me anything, we'll see. We'll try to get to as much as we can in this hour that we have before the live stops. Okay. So first off, first off, full moons. So all full moons are a time of releasing, but also a time of completion, right? If you want to think about the picture of a full moon. So the, the new moon we see is a time of new beginnings, planting seeds, and the full moon is often when those, those seeds that we planted manifest or come to harvest for us. It is also a time that's really powerful for us to release. And that releasing, I want you to think of it as it's like you need to take some clothes out of your closet that don't, you know, some clothes that no longer fit or that no longer align with you, that you don't feel joy about out of your closet every month so that you can embrace the new clothes that want to come in. AKA, you need to release old energy, energy that's no longer working for you so that you can allow that new energy that wants to come in. Now, this is like times a thousand right now because we are in such an energetically packed moment. Um, as we step into September with this full moon in Pisces, Pisces, like I said, I'm my sun sign is Pisces. I have a lot of Pisces in my chart. It's why I am so magical and spiritual and like to live in fantasy dreamlands and astral travel and talk to spirit guides and all that stuff. That's my Piscean grounding, <laughs> grounding, I guess. <laughs> right. Um, but Pisces is you know, it is the last sign of the zodiac. So a lot of people think of it as the wisest, like the old soul of the zodiac. Um, it is a deeply spiritual, deeply magical, very connected, very much connected to the oneness and how we are all connected. Um, very much connected to the power of our dream life, the power of our desires, the power of our fantasies, um, and how that connects to our soul and what we're here to do in the world. And, um, and of course, just like any sign, it has its shadows, right, where that can go into an unhealthy place or an unproductive place. But with this full moon, what we really want to tap in is to the power that's accessible, right? That's accessible there with it. Because when, 
what we're being asked to release right now as we step into this Pisces energy, right? Uh, I want you to think about this Pisces energy is an energy of infinite possibilities. It is an energy of literally thinking, hey, guess what? Whatever that crazy fantasy. And if some of you guys, listen, I'm a daydreamer by birth. I am a natural like person that likes to live in the fantasy world, probably because of all the Pisces in my chart. But what we're gonna do tonight is we're not only going to release, but we're also gonna tap into that part in each and every one of us, right? Because that is gonna be the point of power right now as we move into September, as we move, as we step into this full moon, is really embracing, you know, you hear everyone talking about this new paradigm, this, um, you know, the 5D, what's coming, all of this, you know, this quantum leaping, quantum shifting, timeline hopping, all this stuff, right? Well, well, Pisces, hello! is going to be a super guide to get you there, right? Because Pisces is a whole different way of thinking about the world, right? If you want to think of like Capricorn, Capricorn is more of the energy of how the our world is set up right now, right? With the structure and goals and whatnot. Pisces is like, if I can dream it, I can do it. <laughs> if I can see it, I can manifest it, right? And so Pisces comes here with this beautiful full moon to say, hey, you need to release, you need to let go all of those old paradigm way of thinkings, all of those patriarchal way of thinkings, because we see it, you know, we're looking at the old paradigm outside of us and the government and in different systems and different countries and everything that's going on in the world. But hey, you know, the oppression starts here, right? That's where we need to, to heal it first is between our own two ears. It's in our mind. It's in our experience in this world because as each and every one of us, and this message kept on coming through to me this week, um, and I truly believe this is an important divine download for this new moon, full moon, full moon in Pisces, is that the new paradigm is being birthed through each and every one of us. Through each and every one of us and how we're showing up in our own lives. And so if we want to see that reflected in the world, we need to first see it reflected in our lives. We need to first own it within us, a new way of doing things. And I want to encourage you. I've been asking myself this this week, especially with this full moon and, and, and feeling its energy, was asking this question of when I wanted to accomplish something or when I wanted to get something done or my goals or whatever, when I was thinking about that, asking myself, well, what's the old way I would have done it, right? What's the old way I would have done it? Or what's the little voice in my head telling me the way it should be done? And then challenging myself and saying, is there, if I tap into my intuition, if I tap into how magical AF I am, is there a different way of doing this, right? If I tap into the infinite possibilities, right? And that's and then experimenting with that. And I can tell you I experimented with that yesterday, right? I experimented with that yesterday and I had a full plate of stuff I was supposed to do. But I found out really early on in the day that my energy wasn't there. I wasn't feeling well. My body wanted rest. And I was like, oh my God, how am I going to get all this stuff done? And so I literally cleared off all my calendar except some coaching calls and prospective client calls that I had committed to and was excited to take. I cleared off all the busy work. Right? That's one of the reasons why this workshop's on Instagram Live. <laughs> Sorry. Right? I cleared all that out because I was like, what if I'm open to a new paradigm way of, of work, of how this gets to happen? Right? And, you know, I, I, I made over, I mean, I made, I made, what would you say, like $20,000 yesterday, right? In that paradigm of being like, I get to just focus on what I want to focus on today. Right? I get to not be bogged down by all this stuff that I'm programmed to think I have to do. Right? And again, look, and then today when I stepped into this, when I stepped into this, today I just got the hit, we'll just do it on Instagram Live. So I didn't even miss out on not doing a moon workshop. I got to do everything. I got to have everything, but without any of the pressure that I would have felt if I had to create the whole teachable thing and send out the emails and have you guys sign up and go through that all hoopla, right? And, and so opening yourself up to there being even more possibilities of how you can accomplish the things you want to accomplish. If you're willing to release the old ways you've been attached to doing them, right? And so you guys saw probably my mantra 
that I have for this moon was I'm willing to surrender the false control, right? So that I can step into the infinite possibilities. Because the truth is we, we think, right? We think this is what's being called to be released at this full moon, the old way of thinking, right? We think we have to micromanage everything. We, and, and, and there's even a way kind of like that we have new agey adapted that micromanaging. So instead of just doing the practical actions, now we're micromanaging using, you know, energetic healing techniques and all different kinds of things, right? Because it's not about the actions that you're doing, it's the energy in which you're doing them, right? So you could be micromanaging using crystals, right? You could be micromanaging using Reiki. There's, trust me, I've done it all, so you're not alone. But it's about really noticing, okay, what are, what are the, the, the desires when I tap in right now? What are the big juicy dreams, the fantasies I could get into about my life, right? And what if those fantasies, those big juicy desires were planted there for a reason? Were planted there because they are part of my soul's bigger blueprint, right? Because I firmly believe that they are, that I don't think it's an accident. Even your crazy out there dreams and desires, they're not an accident. They were, they were a gift to you, right? And so thinking about that and thinking about, okay, what are, what are the ways that I've been trying to micromanage or control them? What are the ways that I have felt like I needed to have, I needed to be the puppeteer of how this happened, right? And where can I really release that? One, because that energy is blocking you. Two, because that energy is keeping you stuck in an old paradigm. Because you trying to control it means that you only have access to the things you've done before this moment, right? Do, do you guys feel me on that? If you're trying to control something, let's say you're like, I wanna make $100,000, okay? And you're trying to micromanage that. You're thinking, okay, well, here's, how, here's how, how I've made money in the past. Here's what's worked in the past, right? But what if we're supposed to trailblaze into a new frontier, right? Which would mean that you actually have to tap into something that you haven't previously done yet, that maybe even no one's previously done yet. And I'm serious about this because this is what's coming up with all of my one-on-one -on -one clients. It's realizing that you are the trailblazer. If you're listening to me, if you're like in my community right now, I'm telling you, good news, bad news, <laughs> for the trailblazers, we're leading the forge. We are gonna be the ones that are like, if you think about the new paradigm as like a tsunami wave, we're, we're, we're starting the wave. We're starting the wave, right? And so what that means is we've gotta get open to having new ways of doing things being born through us. New paradigms for how we can attract love, new paradigms for what relationships can look like, new paradigms for how you know money can come in, new paradigms for our work in the world, new paradigms for friendship, new paradigms for community, new paradigms for how we speak out, new paradigms for how we live our lives, right? All new. And so you're not gonna get that looking behind you. And so I want you to think about that right now. And during this time, we're gonna head into a meditation shortly, but, oh, actually, let me go over the three cards that I pulled, and then we'll head into the meditation. So I want you to just be thinking about that theme and really thinking about during this time, you know, I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably someone that's already visualized what you're, you know, what you're working towards and you've gotten that, maybe you even have your goal list written out, right, like I've said, but what if, but what if we really look at that and say, what ways have I been trying to go about that that's old paradigm? What ways have I been trying to go about that that is patriarchal, right? What ways, uh, you know, and here's the thing. I think with embracing this new paradigm of doing things, embracing what wants to be born through you and the uniqueness that's going to come, we're going to have to start realizing that we that we each are going to have unique things that work for us and they're all gifts, right? And this, this kind of model 
that tells us that like you need to follow step one, step two, step three to accomplish something is BS. Unless step one, step two, step three all involves tuning into you, getting rid of anything that's getting in your way and like intuitively handing that, right? That's an old school model that's like, first you're gonna send this email, second you're gonna put this add on. Things, you know, great, that's not gonna work in the new paradigm, right? That's gonna work for one person, right? And it's accepting that that's okay. A lot of the reasons why maybe the things that you wanted haven't been working out thus far are one, because of your your lack of tapping into what's possible for you and the truth of what you're really able to create. And two, because you're looking old ways, you're looking at old ways to open new doors, right? And old ways aren't gonna open new doors. So that's your Pisces full moon message. I'm gonna show you the three, um, the three cards that I pulled for this uh, full moon because they're all like pff, crazy. And then we're gonna go into a meditation, so stay tuned. Um, so the first, the first card I pulled was Archangel Jophiel. I'll show you that. I'll show you guys on Facebook. <laughs> Is decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. A necessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. I mean, I feel like that was so appropriate for this moon. And it's true. It's, you know... If you're needing to make a decision or it feels like you need to make a decision right now in your life, and, and I think it's going to feel that way for a lot of us, and for some of us, it might be a specific decision that we have to, you know, let someone know about, and for a lot of, of us, it might just be an energetic decision about which way we're going to move forward on. Um, it's really asking you to use this new moon to surrender what's been holding you back. Right, and that that's going to be related to self confidence and fears, you know. And a good exercise to do this with I do this with all of my clients when we start working together before we dive into healing a lot of these fears is having them get really clear on their dream and then get really clear on all of the negative self talk and all of the fears that come up when they really, really tap into that big dream. Because when we really, really tap into like we hit the mark on what we really desire, then the floodgates open of like, you're not good enough. Uh, you don't know how to do that. No one's in your family made that much money. Like all the crazy stuff that comes up. Do that. That's a detox process. Do that detox process. Look at the way your self-confidence is getting in the way. And even if right now you may not in this moment have the tools to get rid of that, you can set the intention to release that and you can make the decision that you need to make from a place that is not based in those fears. So for instance, if you look at your list of fears and you say, okay, well, what decision I, would I make if I knew I was worthy, if I knew I was good enough, if I knew that it was possible for me to make whatever money my heart desires, right? If you flip those into what would I make? Like, and, and this is a great tool in general when you're making decisions. You never wanna make your decision from your fear body. You want to make your decision from your space of infinite possibility because from your space of infinite possibility, you're going to make a decision that's aligned with you. It doesn't always mean it's going to be a yes, but you're going to make that decision from that, that intuitive knowing inside of you. When you make a decision from fear, it's always wrong. It's always, well, I wouldn't say it, you know, it, it's, it always holds you back. <laughs> Let's just say that I don't want to say it's wrong. It's just not progressive. It's not going to be a progressive maneuver if you're making it from a place of fear. So it's really important right now before you make that decision to get clear on what your fears are and then really isolate them and say, okay, well, if I didn't have that going on, if I actually believe the opposite of all these fears, now what would I do? Right? Because if you can say, okay, well, if I knew I was worthy and I knew I could do it and all that stuff, and I would still not feel like this was the right opportunity for me, then beautiful. Then that's an aligned no. Right? But if you look at that and you say, okay, well, if I didn't have all of these fears about all these different things, I would a thousand percent do that. That's a yes. That's a yes. And that's part of how we release fears, right? Is by overcoming them through taking action against what our fears want us to do, right? And then and then what happens is that voice gets weaker because they realize we're not going to listen to it, that we're going to take counter action. So listen to that. <laughs> the next one was five of Ariel. This is a really beautiful card. Five of Ariel. So 
You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Ooh. Well, what can I say? <laughs> um, a lot of you, that's why I opened up, I got the, the big hit to open up uh, for some one-on-one -on -one mentorship uh, clients that I haven't done that in a while um, because I really feel we're moving through this transition right now and this is going to be a really helpful time to have a guide, to have someone. And so I'm not saying that that has to be me for all of you, but but there's going to be someone right now that's going to be popping out to you as someone that was going to be really aligned as a mentor or a guide for you. And they're going to help you make this jump into the new paradigm. And it's going to be really, really helpful for you to have that support to, to overcome the fears and the blocks that are really in your way right now. So I would encourage you when that person arises to jump on it, right? To allow yourself to put yourself out there, to get the help, to not try to do this alone. Once again, look back. Where has my best laid plans got me, right? Can I find someone that can navigate this with me so that I can move through it with grace and ease, right? Um, and then, and then again, your negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Really remembering, this was something that really came up for us in the Miracle Mastermind the past few weeks, is realizing that our thoughts are creative. Our thoughts create our life, create our story, create the inner narrative of the movie that we're watching on a daily basis. And we need to take more hyper responsibility for our thoughts because just the way this Pisces full moon, and I'm highlighting the positive, of course, this Pisces full moon is saying that if you can dream it, you can do it, right? If you, if you honor that fantasy in your head, then you can courageously move towards that and manifest that in your life. But same, similarly, similarly, if you are if you are allowing your dream life and your fantasies to be more nightmares than they are into the possibilities, if you're constantly letting your thoughts go into those worst case scenarios, you're also manifesting that and creating that. And it's really important for you to take responsibility of that, take that power back. You are so freaking powerful and so magical provided that you understand how powerful and magical you are so that you can use those powers to create positive change in your life and to manifest these things. So Pisces, of course, of all the signs, would want you to remember that so you can use this and don't let it be used against you, right? Don't let, um, you know, and of course in Miracles, they talk that, you know, it's like we're so tolerant of mind wandering. We're far too tolerant of mind wandering, Course of Miracles says. If you knew how powerful your mind was, you would never allow yourself to go on those negative wormholes. You'd see yourself and you'd be like, oh no, no, we're not creating that. People make fun of the people that go like, oh, cancel, cancel. Well, you know what? Those people are trying. That's that, you know, that's if that helps you. And I, I went through a phase where that really did help me, where I would think something negative and be like, no, cancel, cancel, don't want that. That is showing that you are respecting how powerful the creative energy of your mind is, right? And so honor that again, that wants to be that wants to be acknowledged through this this full moon. And then this last one is literally like I almost fell over in my chair when I pulled this one because I was like, I can't even make this up. Like, I can't make this up. This is crazy. So it is the Archangel uh, Shamuel change your life card, right? <laughs> Listen to this, guys. It's a sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Come on. Give me some hearts if you relate to that, if that's not pretty much everything I've just been saying, right? And I think that that's a reminder, once again, a reminder for us. This is a change your life full moon, which is interesting, right? Because we often associate new moons with changing our life, right? New moons, we're like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, set my new intentions. I'm gonna be a new me, right? But this Pisces full moon is like, pow, change your life now because changing your life 
actually involves more of what you're releasing and what you're getting rid of right now than anything that you're creating. Isn't that nuts? But it's not nuts because <laughs> what we're releasing right now is all the things that have been blocking us, right? And actually makes more sense, right? If you think about this, my school of thought, and what I, again, what I, the school of thought I operate in my programs and with my clients on, is that innately, we have a divine GPS, right? We're all programmed to be the highest manifestation, to be the full bloom um, of what we are, right? Of what we're called to be and do in the world. We have that program inside of us. That is what is our birthright, that is natural, that is already there. You don't got to seek, search, find out, put it in there. No, it's already there. What you need to do is release everything. You know, again, another Course in Miracles, right? But A Course in Miracles says it's that, you know, it, it, we don't have to seek for love. We, need, we, need, we merely need to remove our blocks from it, right? And that's how it is. All these dreams and desires, we don't, we don't need to, to keep seeking and searching for them. We need to remove all the blocks from, the, they, from them flowing naturally because when we are naturally in that state of, you know, that, of, of our infinite potential, of our divine consciousness, of connection, of love, of being in who we are, when we're naturally in that state, that's when things manifest like that. That's when you think something and something comes in. I was telling you guys about that the other day. Literally thought to myself, I should do more podcasts. And I got like five more people DM me, hey, you want to be on my podcast, right? When we're in that state, miracles happen naturally. Manifestation happens naturally with ease and flow. And so this Pisces new moon is saying, listen, that fantasy, that dream of yours, it wants to happen. We just need to release all of the BS that's getting in its way, all of the blocks. And, and I want you to think about these blocks right now as we're in this, you know, really special time as, as the old paradigm, as old news, as, you know, our, you know, this kind of former self, right? This former self. And it's so funny, I had one of my clients was, um, uh, emailed me the other day and she was like, new timeline, Caitlin is doing this, right? And I was like, that's right. I want you guys to start thinking like new timeline, whatever your name is, right? Quant, you know, new paradigm, whatever your name is. How does she do things, right? Because she's going to switch it up because her old ways aren't working. Her old ways maybe just aren't in alignment, right? For me, it was some of my things. It wasn't that all my old ways weren't working. Was it just my old ways weren't exactly all matched up with the full-on fantasy and the full-on desire of how I want my life to be, right? And we get to create that. And so a lot of that means more ease, more flow, more natural miracles, more natural manifestations, more abundance from doing our good work in the world, right? More love, more peace, right? More sanity, <laughs> right? And the old way is going to be struggle and things have to be hard and you have to do it this way or it's not going to work or, you know, people like you don't get to do stuff like that, right? It's all these limitations, all of this, you know, BS. Yes, I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you guys are resonating and loving this. Yay! So feel confident. Let's dive into the meditation so that we have some time to meditate and then a little time after. So thank you guys so much for tuning in um, and doing this workshop. It, it's it's really a delight. I See, again, I would have never thought to do this on my own. Again, it was because I opened up and I created the space for a new way of doing things to flow through me where I got to rest more and have more spaciousness yesterday right? And even have more spaciousness today and not feel rust and not feel like I had to do workshops in the way I always do them because I just opened myself up. Literally today, it was like, just do it on IGTV. Don't make it a big thing. And look at how many of you beautiful souls are going to get to watch this and I'm sure more of you guys watching this on the replay. So let that be a little example of what's possible. Okay, so let's meditate. So get yourself into your nice comfy chair. Oh wait, before we do this, you have to see my Pisces pants I put on. <laughs> these are my amazing galaxy pants with I feel like super Pisces whenever I wear them so I feel like I had to show you okay so now let's get seated in a nice comfortable position get yourself I need to like relax myself because I got so excited when I talk so we're gonna relax um <laughs> hey Mary so we're gonna close our eyes and I want you to take some nice 
deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth, in your nose, out your mouth. And I just want you to tune into your energy field right now. Tune into just how the energy in your body and around your body is feeling in this moment. And really use your breath to just clean and clear out any chaos from the day, any noise that you might have going on about something that happened earlier or something you might have to do later tonight. Let's just use our breath to exhale it out and reconnect with this present moment, with this powerful moment on the full moon in Pisces, where you are going to allow yourself to fully release anything that's been holding you back, any old ways of being, and step into this new dream and fantasy for your life. Just allow yourself to be a completely present, open container for this work. And now I want you to envision a bright ball of golden light at the center of your being, right behind your navel center, your solar plexus chakra, and just breathe into this beautiful, bright ball of light, watching it expand and grow. This is your divine core. This is the center of your soul, the truth of your being. In this space, you are deeply connected to who you are, to the love that you are, to the light that you are, to the infinite potential that abides within you, to the peace that is your true essence, This is the space where we can tap in to our soul's truth, to our soul's desire, to the desires that were not planted in us from the physical world, that were not planted in us for what we've seen of other people or on social media or in magazines or TV, through the deepest, truest desires of our unique soul. and what we came here to do in this lifetime. And from this space, I just want you to open yourself up, breathe into the willingness to be able to see your soul's desires on your mind's eye, your third eye. And so we envision that beautiful divine light coming up through our our heart chakra, through our throat chakra, all the way up into our third eye and projecting onto our mind's eye a vision, a fantasy, a dream for what this year could be, for what the next five years could be for what our life could be. Allow whatever wants to come through right now to be perfect and to just open yourself up to receive it and see it. And allow yourself to dive even deeper into this dream. As if you were watching this dream on the screen at a movie theater and you walked up and you walked into that screen and into that reality 
and we're in that movie, what does life look like in this most beautiful, most juicy, outrageous, dreamy fantasy for your life? What does it look like? What things come up for you? What what goals or what manifestations or what things in your life or your lifestyle or your relationships or your career, just taking it all in, noticing it all and just completely surrendering to how good this future fantasy feels. Just surrender to how good this future fantasy feels right now. And from this space of being inside this dream, inside this fantasy, I want you to look back at your past self, at your pre-new paradigm self, at your pre-this reality self, and see what you needed to let go of, to allow this to be born through you. And just allow whatever comes up for you to come up and just be open to seeing all of the things that you courageously were willing to release, to trust, to open up to, to be uncomfortable with in, so that this new dream could manifest in your reality. It's like you're being able to rewind the movie, right? And look back at those times and really see the ways you got in your own way, the ways your old ways weren't working, the specific ways that you needed to release so that you could step into the you that you've become in this dream, in this movie. And if there are any things that want to come in and populate about what helped you, if there were mentors or guides along the way, if there were tools or practices, allow them to naturally populate in, but don't force them because there are still going to be some things that you won't know, you don't need to know, and you just need to trust in. And while you're still in that beautiful energy, that energy of your highest dream, soak it in. Soak in the joy. Soak in how good it feels. And I want you to imagine a little locket around your neck a little locket around your neck. They are gonna open and from this future you, 
You're gonna whisper into that locket what you need to know right now. What you need to know right now to get on the path to creating this beautiful next level new paradigm for your life. And just whisper in that locket right now. And when you're done, close that locket, feel it on your chest, and step back out of that screen, back into the audience in your mind's eye, bringing your awareness back to that divine ball of light at the core of your being and just breathing into that space, fully remembering your infinite potential, fully knowing that this vision is not an accident, fully knowing that that is part of your divine blueprint. And then you can slowly, when you're ready, move and stretch your body however you want to and come back into the chat. I hope that that was helpful for you guys. I can stay on for another 10 minutes if you want to ask me any questions. Um, and as a reminder, I really think that it's super helpful for you to write down that big juicy vision that you have for your life, for that to be something that in your meditation, um, you you really touch every day that you really allow yourself to you know get into that space and feel that right so that we can realign every day with this is where I'm aiming my arrow yay I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it did anything surprising come up that anybody wants to share let me know oh I love it uh yes and know now know that you always have that locket right you have that beautiful I love that you told yourself you would rest and have fun, right? Oh, yay, I'm so glad. So much of this new paradigm is going to be, you know, less hustle and more alignment, right? Is going to be really tuning in with ourselves. Um, oh, yay, we got tears, we got creepy dry heaves again. I love that. Yes, lock it. Green means go. Heart chakra, be open and vulnerable. Trust kept coming up. Yes, you will have that abundance. Of course, because it's your birthright. Yes, I love, I love, I love, I love. And know that this locket is now with you. It may not be a visual locket, but you can tap into that. You can hold that locket. You are enough, beautiful, right? You can hold that. You can hold that and be remembered, be you know, brought back to that advice and that wisdom that you needed, right? Every step of the way, every day is a choice. Right? Every day we're given multiple choices right? to either build the future or keep recreating the past. Right? Every day we're given a choice to either create the new paradigm or keep in the comfort of the old. I told myself I'm worthy of the love I do yearn to experience with another human. Yes, you are. We are all so worthy of that love. Oh my God. Feeling entitled to support so I can do my calling? Absolutely, you are entitled to support so you can do your calling. You want to be supported so you can do your calling on a bigger scale. Oh my God, your husband who passed said I love you and that you are and were enough. Oh, that is so beautiful. And that also tells me that your husband wants is here and wants to guide you and wants to help you live out to your full blossoming in this lifetime. Oh, I love that. 
I love it. You guys are enough. You're all enough and you all deserve true love and you all deserve your heart's desires and you all deserve abundance and you all deserve support, right? And so we get to tune into that every day. We get to not make just these meditations be a full moon or new moon or whatever occurrence, right? We get to have that connection every day and go back into our souls and go back into our dream, right? And receive that guidance. It is always available to us. And that guidance is going to be what leads us forward. That guidance. So thank you guys so much for joining me. This was beautiful. I'm so glad I opened myself up to new ways of doing things. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I'm going to try to repost it um, after it so people can watch the replay. Do it as many times as you need to. Save it if you want to do it on a regular basis to keep on, like I said, every single day by our decisions, by how we go about our life, we, we make those conscious choices, right? And we keep on either stepping into that future vision or stepping back, right, into our past and into things that haven't worked for us before. Oh my God, I love that. Well, you know, I think if uh, if a, uh, your boyfriend just broke up with you or a relationship just ended or any sort of, even if it was a career thing just ended during this full moon, then it's very clear that it just wasn't aligned with the quantum shift you're just gonna jump right now, right? It wasn't aligned with your future and where you're going, so it needed to be released. And I truly, truly want you to trust that. I want you to trust that things are getting released with this full moon, even if you don't know, and that's part of this Piscean message to trust, right? To trust the universe, to trust that we are in beautiful hands that, are, that want to guide us when we're open to it, right? Um, and that it's all unfolding for us to step into that next level of our life, for us to step into this new paradigm we're creating here. So trust, 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 trust. I love it. I love this. Yes, everyday practice, everyday practice. So, so necessary right now. Mwah. Bye guys. I love you. Feel free to comment below. Share this with any of your friends that you think would utilize this meditation. Um, if you're watching this on the replay, let me know what came up for you too. Um, and as always, um, I, I love doing this. We kind of just wrapped up on one-on-one -on -one applications, but because it's a full moon in Pisces, if you felt strongly called to apply for one-on-one, -on -one, I will still be reviewing one-on-one -on -one applications probably for the next few days as I still have a lot more to do. So you can find that at the link in my bio as well. Mwah. Love you, love you. <laughs>